this portable marking machine adopts separate structure design, small size, easy to carry, can be used in a variety of environments. Let's take a look at the main external parts. This part is the control part, including laser source, main board, driver, and other electronic components. We will detail the internal of this part later. This part is working area, pillar. To adjust the focal lens, different heights are optional. Optical pass, laser cable, red light, extender lens are inside. Passing the laser into scanner. Scanner, adjust the angle of the laser according to the pattern in the software. Theta lens, improve the quality of the laser beam and make it work evenly on the object surface. Then let's check out the inside of the control part. First, this is core part of the machine, laser source. The power is optional. The brand is optional. Rikus is the most used brand currently, and also can use Max and, and other brands. This is power supply, and we can change the world through this button. And now this machine in China uses 220 watts, and use this button can change what, uh, watts to 110 watts. And this is main board, and this is driver. This is filter. Some manufacturers don't have this, this things. This filter can eliminate external interference and make the marking fine pattern more stable. Otherwise, we will attach a circle diagram with the machine, which is convenient for later maintenance. Take a look at the behind of this machine. And this part is for connecting the computer. And this part is for connecting the pedal. We're stepping on this pedal and also can mark. And this part is for connecting the fixture, like rotary chuck. And this part is for power. This is key. This key is for power. To open the power. Please make sure this emergency button, the red light is open. If you can't see this red line, like this, please open this. And then, we pull this button and then you can see the red light pointer here that means the laser is open <laughs> 